Cheat two box, lychee slicer. Which one's better? Let's find out. On this video, we're gonna take a model and we're gonna slice it with G2 box and lychee slicer. And we're gonna print them at the same time on matching PO polyphenoms. The model we're using today is called Joker Face. It is a two piece model, as you can see, the base and the Joker face. And they come together. They're actually really well keyed, I will say that. Like the way that the key is designed, you can't mess it up. It fits in there perfect and it's really snug. That's what she said. <laughs> The model is actually made by Jules, and the link is in the description if you want to purchase or if you want to be able to 3D print this model yourself. If you don't want, if you don't have a 3D printer, or if you want this model, I actually sell these on lithypick.com. There is a link in the description that will take you to purchase this model. Also, check out the other models that we have available. If you're good at something, never do it for free. The resin we're going to use for this project is all made by Soraya Tech. I'm going to have 40% white resin, 40% gray resin, and 20% tenacious, which gets rid of the brittleness. Guys, look. Cheetu box. <laughs> All right, the first slicer we're working with today is Cheetu Box. And we're going to speed through this video so it doesn't end up being an hour and a half long. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our models and then we're going to size our model up. We're making this model six inches, which is 152.4 millimeters in height on the Z axis. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hollow this model out and we're going to add our drain holes in there. I did miss it in this video, though. All right, we're, we're, what I normally do is I will choose, this model's pretty large, so I went with a heavy supports. I chose from the platform up only just to put in the weight bearing supports that will hold this model in the, in the most effective way. And then what I do is I switch over to a light support and then I go through and I find all the little spots and crevices that I feel that uh, needs more support. And this is just the way that I've done this with Chi2 box. Um, light cheese a lot differently, but with Chi2 box, this is the way that I have been um, successful with getting prints and sometimes not successful, but we, we, we learn from them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath all these parts here and we're going to add some light supports also and come around and find any spots that might need them and just looking for some of the red underneath. And we're going to put some underneath under here with more supports there and we are looking good. We're going to slice this up and get it ready for print. And the results are in. The volume is 134.5, and the time will be 22 hours and 28 minutes. Lychee. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring the model into Lychee Slicer, and we're going to size it up the same size as on Cheat 2 Box, and we're going to hollow it out. We're going to put a 4 millimeter shell on it, and I'm going to take the infill down to zero. Next up, we're going to detect all the islands on it. What this does is it actually goes through the model and it finds all the little islands that are going to appear that needs to have supports in its place. And so what we've got to do is find all these little red dots and put supports in its place, including right down here underneath this ear. And there we go. Now we're going to switch over and it's going to show us in gold checker where supports should be placed on this model. And we're going to place supports down here underneath the wings. And I'm using a medium support as the weight bearing support because it will actually hold the model to the print bed and get a good successful print out of it. Down here underneath the wing, we'll put some more supports under there, right up inside here. And then next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a support up here by the lip. And we're gonna switch over to a light support and we're going to branch off with little mini supports. Mini supports are supports that are kind of like twigs on a branch. You can hold down control alt, click on the spot that you want to support and then click on the support you want it to branch over to. And it doesn't actually make a full tree all the way down to the very bottom. It just branches off and it gives you something there 
So it helps with the more detail of the model and getting a better detail in it. And I'm gonna show you here, putting all these little mini supports in like this. And up here underneath the chin, we're gonna put a few other supports there. And the results is in. Volume is 127 and the time is 23 hours and 55 minutes. Compared to Chi 2 box, that means that the time is actually slower with Light Chi and uses less resin. Where does it get those wonderful toys? To the print lab! Drain thy vat. Giggity, giggity. Now that we're down here in the print lab, it's time to drain the vats. So I am going to pour the resin that's in the vats back into the bottle. And the way I do that is like I'm in a nice big funnel. I use a filter inside. I have the bottle inside a little sole canister inside the pitcher to give it more stability. If you know any other better way of doing anything that you see in my video, please put it in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have any comments, put them in the comments below and I will try to reply to him as best I can. Now it's time to rinse out the vats. I'm using not so hot, um, it's hot, but it's not really hot water to rinse out the resin that's on the bottom. I'm not using any soap or anything like that. I'm just taking a, a, a rag and just trying to get all the film off of it. Try and polish the vats with Radex. <laughs> Remember dear. No question. Yeah, but I... Right. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Did he just say Rain-X? Oh yeah, he did. Since I started using Rain-X, I have not heard any suction sounds coming from my printers. I have not had a single print stick to my FEPS, and my FEPS have lasted me more than four times longer than before. Are you sweet talking me? Uh, uh. Plus the added bonus is, is you can pick it up almost anywhere that has an automotive parts section, even at gas stations. I spray and polish it three times with a soft lit free rag and let it dry really good. And you want a good coated surface. I would explain the chemistry behind it, but my brain can't pronounce words like that. I'm not a smart man. It's all right. I all you gotta do is slide the vat in and secure it down with the two knobs on this side. Don't forget to shake your resin thoroughly. I like to pour my resin in the middle and let it spread out towards the edges, filling the vat all the way up. Many unbearable hours later. Now that the print is done, I'm going to take it out by unscrewing the bolt at the top. And as I slide my plate out, I'm going to flip it upside down over the vat. Remove the supports. I'm gonna be sick, but. Now that we've got the plate down, we gotta remove it from the plate. We're gonna pop off the supports, makes it real easy. And then I take my texture gloves and I kind of rub it over where all the supports were at. And it kind of sands it down while it's still wet. It sands it down to where I don't sand it later. Now it's time to remove the lychee print from the plate. So we're gonna pop this plate off. We're gonna scrape it down. We're gonna wipe it off really good and clean. And now it's time to remove the supports off. They do come off very easily since there's very low contact depth. So even with all those supports it came off real easy. And of course my texture gloves will sand it before I have to sand it later. In my ultrasonic cleaner, I use 1500 milliliters of mean green, 500 milliliters of 99% IPA, the rest water, and I cook it for 36 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I'm a maniac, maniac on the floor, and I'm dancing like I've never danced before. <laughs> I rinse my prints in warm to hot water 
And then what I do is I take a spray bottle full of 99% IPA and I spray the model down really, really well. And I take my texture gloves and I run it over top the model in all the different spots just to be able to get that cleaning solution off that print and rinse thoroughly. And if you had a hard time removing your supports before when they were wet, this is the second best time to remove them because this is when they're going to be wet and soft and it's the best time to remove supports also. Now it's time to dry our prints and we want to make sure our prints get really good and dry all the way around. So you want to make sure you get down inside all those little crevices and nooks and crannies and holes and divots and dips and whatever else you want to call them. Just get your prints completely dry all the way around, maybe even take a Q-tip into some of the spots I usually do, and then get it ready for the curing. Now what we're doing is we're putting our prints in our UV curing cabinet for a couple of hours and all we have left to do now is just wait. You know you want to press subscribe. You know you want to press that notification bell. You do know you want to like this video. Well the verdict is in. We have Chi 2 box here, we got lychee slicer here, and I didn't really, it looked really similar. Just looking at it, you don't see a difference. They look almost the same until I really, really studied it. And I noticed that the grooves on the light chain was a little bit deeper and more defined than the one on the Chi 2 box. The one thing that I noticed with these models is with Chi 2 box, it used less supports. This thing was loaded down with supports, many supports to be able to, t I, I went in there and got all up into the gums and under the nose and I had, cause I mean, don't forget it did print like this or it actually printed like this, but all the supports was coming down from here down. And so I got up in here, I got up inside these gum, the teeth, I, I put supports in every little crevice that it told me to put supports at that it recommended that supports needed to be there in chi 2 box i did plain old auto support on the platform put a few little ones in where i felt like they needed supports at and this is the difference right here and there what there's not that much of a difference i just i noticed that it seems like everything's a little deeper on the on the lychee slicer part versus the Chi 2 box one, but all in all, I would not have been disappointed with the Chi 2 box version at all versus having all those support that's resin wasted. I mean, and here's the thing, I took a lot of the auto supports out on this lychee slicer uh, behind it just because some of it was just redonkulous. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? And this one had very minimal supports as you saw earlier in the video. And on top of that, it printed a little faster. If you ain't first, you're last. G2 Bucks for being a free slicing software that comes with the printer and it comes on the USB stick. It's not a bad slicer. I would say if you have something that definitely needs a lot of supports and you want absolute detail and absolute precision, Light G Slicer is the way to go because the support system they do have is phenomenal. I love the fact that it automatically scans models for any errors, holes, or any problems. I love the fact that when you're putting in the supports, you can actually go in, individually select every single one. You can move the junctions around. You can you can align your, you can set your supports exactly how you want them. You can make sure that they are not cutting through the model, which is one thing that I absolutely hate about G2 Box. Let the hate flow through you. Is that there is no way to really fix that. There is no really dynamic support system like Lychee has. So Lychee really takes the ball when it comes to supports and being able to do custom supports that you want for your models. And I mean, because every model is different, you know, you have to, you have to be able to orient things right and put the supports in and to be able to move all the little junctions around and run it the way that you want to run it a little mini branch off supports that they put in there was really nice because you don't need a heavy support in that spot you know you already got a heavy support coming down and attaching to the model you don't need that for every little single spot so you can literally take some of that out and just branch off mini supports because you just need a little something there for when it starts printing so it doesn't stick to the fat which is great and that's what lychee software offers 
offers. If Chi Chi Box had the support system that Lychee Slicer had, I wouldn't even mess with Lychee Slicer. I would do strictly Chi Chi Box. Now, when I'm doing quote, I quote all my prints on an hourly basis. I prefer Chi Chi Box. It just does it so much better. It gives me all the details right there. I don't have to save the file. I can slice it separately. That's one thing I'm not too happy about with Lychee Slicer. You can't just slice it to see the details. Sometimes I don't even want to print. I don't even want to save the file. I just want to slice to get the details of how much resin it's going to use, how much time is it going to take, you know, what's the price behind that print. That, that focuses everything with quoting in 3D printing. Well, for me, at least, because that's how I quote. Um, so that that right there, I do stick with Chi2 Box when it comes to quoting on that. Now, I have been known to quote with Chi2 Box and then still print with Lychee and because of the support system. And I do that and even though Lychee, the, the time is still a little bit longer, I don't I don't count that towards the uh, to the person who's paying me for the print. I, I pretty much go off Chi2 Box because it is a little faster and it is accurate. I mean, I've never had I've never had a problem with it off of there. I haven't really timed Lychee yet to see how accurate their printing time is. I imagine it is pretty close, but I do know that these models were started at the exact same time. Chi2 Box got done first, then the Lychee Slicer got done. It was probably about a 20 minute difference. So there you have it. Both, sli both slicers are great slicers. Chi2 Box is really wonderful to start with, to learn with. It's an amazing slicer. I've been using it since December of 2019. It has been a fantastic slicer and I will continue to use it. But Lychee Slicer does take the cake when it comes to the more options that you have and the better advancedness that you have with the slicer itself. So there you have it.